Hey guys, what is going on? It is Sharkmeat Jr. here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Chaos Skull Crusher boat in Black Ops 3 Dry and Draha. Huh? And uh, first, what you want to do is you want to shoot that logo right there, and then you want to head back down under double tap, or under double tap, where double tap is. Um, and then you're going to hold X on this thing here to upgrade, the, to start the upgrade quest. Um, you're going to have someone say, release me, and well, that's what we're going to go do. So as you can see here, I just skip over to me opening the door. And this is the door that you need to open down in, well, above in upper courtyard. Um, so yeah, what you're going to need to do here is, you see that square there? You're going to need to knife a zombie, melee kill a zombie on that square. Whether it's with your bow, whether it's with your knife, if you have the bowie knife, use the bowie knife. Um, whatever you, whatever you end up using, use that on this square. And then it will explode here, as you'll see in a second. Um, I have a bit of trouble with it, um, because I'm not that good at the game, and I don't do the void build that often, but, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, as I said, I'm bad at the game. So, I'm just waiting for him to get onto the square. And then I loop around. And then that's that one done. So, what you want to do once you've done that is you want to hold X on the urn. And you're going to see that it floats up into the air, and it's going to tell you to return that, which is scattered. Um, by the way, I recommend to turn on subtitles for this part, because it just makes it a bit easier. So what you're going to go do is you're going to find these keeper skulls. First location is right there, and you have to find six of them in total. So that's the first one. And the second one you need to go to find is going to be in is going to be in Mule Kick, just beside Mule Kick. Mule Kick. Why can't I speak? So for the one at Mule Kick, um, you're going to obviously want to lay down a Mule Kick for 100 points. And then you're going to want to hold X right here where this guy is, right there. And then you're going to want to run over to Double Tap, and it's going to be right here. It's going to be sitting on that wall right there. So that's the third one. And then, for the fourth one, you're going to want to run up into Samantha's room, and it's going to be in her toy box. So as you, if you just follow my path here, um, by going up the stairs... Um, and then you're going to want to turn right, turn left, and if you don't do what I do, you should stay in that first room, right there, and you're going to want to open up this, look right in the toy box, and there it is, right there, so that's your fourth one. Now we're going to go look for our fifth and our sixth one, which are both by the teleporter, so the first one, or the fifth one, is in that sink right there. And then you're going to need 500 points, well, 2,000 total, 1,500 to open up that first door there. And then uh, 500 to teleport down to Rocket Pad. Um, so, yeah. Once you do that, once you have enough, you just want to teleport. Once you teleport, you just need to go ahead and run over to this truck that's over on the left here. Um, I just activated a couple other things while I'm here, too. Um... And the funny thing is, is when I was doing this, when I was making this tutorial, I actually went down. So I tried to copy exactly what I did from before, except my gun was different, and I'm on a different round. And I have more perks, so boom, right here, you're going to see that my gun changes. Yeah. So now it's saying that the broken souls must be sacrificed in his honor. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make crawlers. The way they make crawlers is you're just going to blow their legs up, and then it'll turn them into a crawler. So as you can see here, I'm just making this last zombie in the round into a crawler. And then one of these um, keeper skulls will come after him. So, yeah, I just get past this part here because I get a couple insta-kills. And I'm just trying to maximize my points off that. So now what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for the zombies to come in here, and then I'm blowing their legs up so that I can make a few more crawlers. So in total, you're going to need to make six crawlers, and then once you've done that, you're going to need to bring them into the circle so those keeper skulls will attack them. Um, so yeah, I just noticed I have another crawler there. And this takes forever because this guy is going so, so slow. So I try to jump start him here a little bit. And he gets eaten by that first keeper skull there, so here I just pull out my grenades and I try and make one more, one more, um, crawler. But I make three, or four or something, yeah, four. And so, yeah, there we go, that one's done, and now you're gonna see something pop up on the screen saying door, or, not door, heart, 
door and then horn. And what you're going to need to do with that is you're going to need to walk upstairs into this area with the knights. And you're going to need to find the ones that you, that ones that your demon, did the demon voice for you said. They can be any mixture of any of these things. It can be crown, it can be stag, it can be heart, it can be griffin, it can be horn, door, it can be so many things. But you, it can be any random order. You just have to listen for it and I recommend writing it down. So once you've figured them out, in order, go click on them with the X button and you're going to want to see what they are. So I got tears, what did I get? Tears, something claw, tears, triangle, claw. So what you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to go through a few rounds and you're just going to need to, well, kill zombies until you get, how do I put it? You get these little symbols that pop up. As you'll see here when I kill a zombie in a second, you'll see that purple flash, but I'll show it better in a second. Um, yeah, I'm just maximizing my points here by knifing. Um, but yeah, I kill a zombie here, and you see that he dropped something purple. You need to go pick that up, and then that's that for that. Um, so now I have tears, and you just need the three logos that apply to you. So if you got bow, tears, and then moon, you just need bow, tears, and moon. But if you get everything else, that's fine too. So yeah, I'm just going through another round here, going through a... Just waiting for the zombies to um, get together. And then I just kill them. And looks like I got arms there. Or I called... It's all up to you what you call them. That's not actually what they are. Um, my friend calls those teeth. Um, yeah. If you guys want to go check them out, I'll leave his link in the description down below. And there I believe I got claws. So now I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, so I got... My thing was tears triangle and then I believe claws yeah tears triangle and then claws so the way that you want to do this is you want to shoot them in the exact same order as you got them so if you got heart door horn like I did it should be in the exact same order as you got it before and if you get it wrong he'll say that is not my name and then the skulls will try and kill you so be careful for that and then what you want to do, if you got it correct, is you're going to wait a while for the skulls to go around it. Once the arrow is coming out of the ground, you're going to want to go and hold X on it. Wait about 30 seconds, and then it will pop out of the ground, and you can hold X on it to get your reforged arrow. Once you've done that, you're going to need to go down to Undercroft, and once you're down in Undercroft, you're going to hold X on the Void Bow box, and you're going to put your arrow into it. Once you put your arrow into it, you just need to fill it up, fill up your arrow, just like you did with the Storm Bow, if you've seen that tutorial. Um, and yeah, you just need to fill it up with about 20 souls, and then you can hold X on it, put your bow in, and now you have the Chaos Skull Crusher Bow. That has been a tutorial for the Chaos Skull Crusher Bow. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, favorite it, comment it, whatever you want to. I think it's really good. This bow is pretty good against the Panzer. I still think the Storm Bow is better just because it lifts him up in the air and it, like, paralyzes him in place. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, um, please subscribe, like, favorite, comment, go check out my other videos, and I'll catch you.